back to my channel I'm Denny and today we have another haul I feel like this season has been all about hauls more hauls and more hauls anybody else feel like we're just going on a shopping binge and we just can't control ourselves well that's how I feel I feel like I have shopped so much and bought too much stuff now I need to go on a no buy because honestly I've been shopping like a mad woman so with that all said, I'm going to just hop in and let you see what I purchased. I'm going to start off with the item that I got from Ulta. Uh, I know I showed the bag, but I only got one thing there. So I ended up getting the subculture palette there at Ulta. I've been wanting it for quite a while and I decided to go ahead and buy it. And I had tons of points. I had... A coupon for 20% off of prestige items and I also had another $10 off coupon for a birthday gift that I never used and so I ended up getting the subculture palette this is what it looks like right there everyone knows what it looks like you guys already seen this on the internet all over and you don't need more than just knowing that I got it. and I only paid eight bucks for it so Haha, <laughs> you're like me who loves a great deal. Go ahead and give me a like on this video. So from there, I went on to ColourPop's website and I could not resist. My husband just brought me cookies. Look at this. <laughs> I can't eat this right now, but I want to, I want to, I want to. Okay, I'm going to put it right there. Thank you. Okay, so I... Went on to ColourPop's website and purchased the Dream Street palette that was a collaboration with the lovely Kathleen Lights. And let me know if you want me to do a try-on style with this one because you know I love doing try-on styles. This, let's, let's just open it. You already know. I love to open stuff. So it has the same type of cover as the packaging. Very beautiful packaging. And they don't typically have a mirror, but these are the shades. Tell me if that is not beautifulness. Now, I know you're not seeing this lovely teal color. It probably looks black on your end, but this is beautiful. I can't wait to play with this. A lot of teals. Wait a minute. There's teals in this one. And there's like teals inside of the subculture. I feel like it's all about teal this year. So I also purchased a few other things. I got some lippy sticks. And one of the lippy sticks that I purchased was in the color, what's this one? Lumiere. And which I believe is also one of Kathleen's uh, created colors. And it is a, this a lippy stick right here. I'll go ahead and sw Oh, that's pretty. So I've never actually used this color. I don't I didn't know what it looked like. So yeah, I ended up getting this lippy stick in Lumiere. And then I got another lippy stick in the color New Rules. So this is that one right there. A lot of berries. I love berries. That's that one right there. Very pretty. I really like the formula on the lippy sticks. And then I got this guy right here, which is a part of the My Little Pony collab, as you can see from the outside of the packaging. And this one is in the shade Lemon Drop. Look at this. I love purples. Well, obviously. You see, I got purple on today. But I like wearing purple lipstick. That's one of my fun colors to go to. And this one is a ultra matte lip. And that's the shade right there. So very fun. I can't wait to hop into January where I can start wearing different lipsticks that are not red. So those were all the items that I got from ColourPop. And then I went to the beauty supply store again. This is not Ulta. This is just like one of those regular beauty supply stores. And I ended up purchasing a few more of those RK cream lips, which... These guys are so good. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is a better formula than the NYX. Well, I ended up getting this purple color that's called Love at First Sight. No, this is not purple. This is pink. <laughs> and my swatches are so horrible. So <laughs> that awful swatch right there 
is the shade is the shade love at first sight then I got this color right here which is Mabu and I I love the names on these too they're very quirky I like them they're hip you know and oh yeah this one's gonna be such a pretty shade for the summer right here do you see this this is just beautiful me and my boo no my boo and I my boo and I just changed the name of it <laughs> and then I ended up getting this sip and wine which looks black in the tube but I think it's a vampy purple yeah it's a vampy purple they have a cream consistency, like one side has, I feel like I have to move them around. They're so creamy. So that is that color right there. It's not black, I promise you. It's a wine color. So a sip and wine, I felt like that's like me. I like sipping on wine, right? And then it had another section with more of the RK Kiss or Ruby Kiss, however you want to call them. And these kind of look like Kylie Cosmetics. I don't know if it's supposed to be a dupe. It has like the dripping makeup look and I ended up getting this right here which is wildfire this right here which I thought was a red I think it is a red oh I like I said I I'm really horrible at swatches so wildfire is this color right here yes we are gonna wear this this month because this is a red color and this looks really nice. This line is their Forever Matte Liquid Lipsticks, which I've never used. And I just feel so intrigued by it. I also saw that they had brushes. So I ended up getting two brushes from the RK brand. And I got the, the Tapered Shadow Brush. And I got the other one, which was in the C Curve. And these were only $2.99. So if you like affordable brushes, this is what the brush looks like. It has a very fluffy, look at that, that's so fluffy and it feels nice. It feels like it's going to be really nice. I can't wait to give these a test out on my eyes, but for $2.99, that's not bad. I mean, you could pay like $4 for an e.l.f. brush and I think $2.99 is a good price. And then the C... What was this one again? The C curve looks like this. And it's oh, it's so soft. It's really soft. I can't wait to play with these. These are nice. I needed, I always need a good blending brush. So there you go. Then from there, I stopped in at Walmart. I stopped in at Five Below and I got a few things. So at Five Below, I picked up these cloths to remove your makeup. I feel like this is an essential step. You, if you put on a lot of face, you gotta take it off with something. And these are really soft and nice, and you can just like really clean your face really well. If you use a, a cream cleanser like I do, that usually like uh, it's like a balm that you put on and it kind of just like melts everything down, these are so good to just like wipe it all off and take off the day. So, the other thing that I picked up was at Walmart it's backwards, was this uh, Kiss kit for my lashes. I really didn't need this pair of eyelashes, but I really wanted the tools that came with it. So I wanted the little applier, I wanted the trimmer, and I wanted the measure, the measure thing, which is this clear guy right here. Really wanted that. I thought that was really interesting. I don't have that little thing to apply them with and I really wanted one of those. That And I felt like I did a really good application using that today because I normally don't have that and I put it on myself with my hands and you know I just don't get in there really well so this was something that I needed. I used it already so um, yeah I ended up picking up this guy. And I believe that concludes everything that I purchased lately. Go ahead and give me a like if you like this video and um, comment if you think we should all go on a no buy because honestly, our pockets are hurting already. <laughs> so uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Become a member of my family and as always from my house to yours, love ya.